Yum, yum. Hey everyone, Steve White here. In this video, I'm gonna use the newest version of Blender 2.9, which is currently in beta, to create this sort of little tileable piece of geometry, uh, which is part of a couch cushion, and you can use this in the array modifier. So something like this. And we, we're gonna do this using the new uh, cloth filter in, in Blender 2.9. So let's get started. The new cloth filter feature is part of Blender 2.9 and that is currently in beta. So if you wanna download that, you can get that on the Blender website. Um, let's go ahead and create a plane. And then I'm going to scale that up a bit just so it's a little bigger in our scene. And now I'm going to uh, tab over into edit mode. And with that polygon selected, I'm going to right click and subdivide that. And then I'll hit Shift R to repeat that last action. And I'll do that several times until I have a fairly dense grid of polygons. All right, so now I'm going to go over into the Sculpting tab. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to enable the Mask Brush. I'm gonna have X and Y Symmetry turned on. And my Strength is going to be set to one. And now you can, if you can see it very faintly here, if I, um, you can see the little symmetry markers here. This will let you um, see the center of that polygon. So I'm gonna bring those to the center and just start painting a round uh, mask there in the center. And just try to make it as round as possible. So something like that. Now let's paint out the corners. Uh, you can think of the corners as sort of a quarter of that uh, center circle size. Uh, because this is going to tile over onto four other grids so um, you want that to be a uh, you know a circle once it tiles okay so with those now masked out what i'm going to do is i'm going to come down here to the cloth filter and you can find that here in this little uh, thing that says none that's one of the joys of beta is that they uh, you know sort of have fill in little icons until they make the uh, final one i'm going to select that and I'm going to come up here to the filter type and I'm going to change this to inflate. And for the strength, I have this set to about 0.3. And then we'll give this a try and see how this works. So to make this work, all you have to do is just left click on the viewport and drag. And then just drag it until, until you get something about what you like. If you keep going, it's going to just completely inflate and, and then it won't be something uh, that you might like. And of course, you can go in and sort of smooth out things if you want. Uh, but for this, I think we're going to go with this for now. So now I'm going to go back into the modeling tab. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the number seven key to go into the top view. And what I want to do here is I want to cut this up into four pieces that we're going to mirror across. Because right now, if I were to go ahead and array this, you can see that if we array these things together, that they're not going to tile incredibly well. Uh, just because the simulation itself is a little bit chaotic, so things aren't going to match up very well. So let's go back to the top view here. I'm going to go into edit mode. What I'm going to do here is, along the center line here, I'm going to grab a row of polygons here. Just uh, holding on the Alt key and clicking, or double clicking, depending on what your key map is. And I'm going to delete that loop. And then again, I'm going to go and select another center the other way, right here, and then delete that. Okay, so now we can just delete these few pieces here. So we are just left um, with a corner, and then we'll use this to mirror cross. Uh, so right now to make this tile, we're gonna need to make this square. And so one way we can do this is go ahead and select an edge, or control shift the, uh, and select this edge, and so now I'll just hit S, um, Y, and 0, and that will flatten that out. However, now it's intersecting, so we need to hit G and Y to move that up. And now I'm going to do the same on all sides. So select an edge here. Control shift that edge. S, X, and 0. And again, bring that over on the X, just to where it's not overlapping any other uh, polygons. And then I'm going to select an edge, control shift this edge, S, Y, and zero. And again, finally, the last set here on the right, control shift, S, X, and zero. Okay, so now that is um, square from the top view. So what I wanna do here though is, um, see I have some of these edges which are sort of moved away from the, uh, the, the end edge. 
So I want to kind of even those out a little bit. So what we can do is just let's select a few of these and I'm just going to maybe control shift somewhere down here and just slide that over with the double G key. And I'm going to do a few more here. Okay, so now this looks awful, but we'll fix this here in a minute. So I'll just slide those over. So it just sort of distributes them a little e more evenly. Now I'm going to go in and just sort of select a bunch of these here. And I'm going to deselect the edge ones because I don't want those to move at all. And then I'm going to go ahead and just right click and just smooth those a few times. And you can use Shift R as well. Maybe I'll select these again and smooth that area again. So Shift R, smooth those out again. So it just, you know, it gives you a better distribution of polys. And, and I'll do the same over here. So again, I'll just, um, now you can smooth this as it is, but I found it better to sort of move some edges around first. Uh, it just helps uh, the smoothing algorithm. So again, just double G, just move that over. Select this edge and this one and double G, move that over. So that's good. And then again, I'll just come in here, select a bunch of points, deselect the, uh, the border edges, and then Shift R and just smooth those out a bit. And now I also want to uh, right click on the uh, object and it just shade smooth. So now it's a little smoother. Okay, so now we have that. Let's go ahead and create our mirror. So what we're gonna do, so I need to move the origin point to the to the exact middle. So I'm going to go ahead and select this object, go into edit mode, go down and select this middle vertex here. Go Shift S, cursor to selected, and now go back into object mode. Object set origin, origin to 3D cursor, and so now that's ready for us to mirror. So I'll go ahead and select our object, go to mirror, and then that will be mirrored over on the X, and then I'll add another mirror. And then this, I'll change this one to the Y. So now we have our object. And now all I have to do, let me go ahead and apply that just so um, we won't have to have this as a modifier. So now that's one single object. Now I'll go ahead and add an array. And you can see now that's tiling across. Now you might notice that you get a little seam there. You can see that in there. Uh, we can fix this by going in and adding a weld modifier. And that will take care of that. And now all you have to do is just, um, you know, say up the number of the array there. And if we wanna go the other direction, we can add an array. And uh, for this one, we'll just go under the relative offset, uh, zero out to X and then add one to the Y. And now we can just set the number that we want for that. And now we have our tileable cushion shape. Yum, yum.